Welcome to another edition to End the Divide. In another time where we're dropping coin, has more news about Algorand. Hopefully, everyone's having a wonderful day. Hopefully, this will inspire, change your lives. You know, a lot of stuff that's going on, cryptocurrency, a lot of stuff involved with stocks in general, financial. Because of the war in Ukraine with Russia, a lot of things are depressed. The, the value of things are depressed. These are the times where, you know, you want to make sure you're doing level-headed reasoning, understanding your investment, reason why you're doing things. Some people will pull out of market crypto. Um, but this is the time where you really have to kind of figure out why you're here. Um, if you're going to be a long term, if this is something that you're looking to invest in, because I know the dip seems to be and the volatility seems to be very annoying. But the pressure makes pipes bust, but pressure also makes diamonds. And this is where I'm coming in to you understanding. I'm hollering with diamond hands because guess what? I know the, that the future is not going to be this. And once everything changes and stabilizes, the things that you have right now are going to move. They're going to skyrocket. They're going to move. They're going to invest um, more money into crypto because. Not only is the stability of crystal, crypto going to be seen, but their, the use case for it is being seen in real time right now in Russia and Ukraine, where money is being moved, even though the markets, the traditional markets are not available to them. So without further ado, without any further ado I need you to do the community favor and go ahead and subscribe to this video, uh, subscribe to this channel, because I'm gonna need you and your support to be, continue to grow. I need you to be able to help the algorithm find me. Like I'm lost, the algorithm needs to find me. So I can give you more content. I can create a better channel. I'm doing some things I want to um, add some more content, do some more specific things like interviews and bring you hopefully news a little bit quicker you know, on some of the things, bring you some behind the scenes uh, information that get out there a little bit quicker than other people. But like I said, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notifications, hit the like. Also, I would love your comments. Comment down below. Help make this channel better by adding your responses, adding your input. And with that, let's go ahead and share the screen. And as I share the screen, I must tell you again, to re as a reminder that I am not a financial advisor. I do play one sometimes occasionally doing um, things with my wife, but I, here specifically for educational and inspirational purposes only. I do, wanna, I do not want to affect your portfolio in a negative way. So anything that I say should not be taken as gospel, but it should be taken with a grain of salt. But this is what we're getting into. Algorand, the new project played ball with the SEC now focused on fractionalized NFTs. So I want you to understand one of my key things I'm really paying attention to Algorand and you have to pay attention to the news of the whole market. And the thing with the SEC comes in when they had the lawsuit against Ripple, XRP, trying to figure out their security. And we all understand whether you agree with what's going on or not. This is a very major thing, trying to figure out if 
uh, crypto altcoins are going to be described as securities, understanding how to tax them and all that other things. All that's fine. But what I want you to see with this article is how Algorand is positioning itself to not only be in a position where it's going to be in a position where it's going to be able to help the central banking community, uh, it's going to be actually one of the front runners if this thing actually get the regulations. It's going to have a, such a head start with some uh, opposed to the other blockchains out there. You want to make sure you're paying attention to this because this is where the rubber meets the road. And guess what? You want your investments, you want your money to travel down that smooth highway that's created instead of that dirt road that you know we're rolling down now you old people you get the analogy so pretty much this is going back to gary gensler the sec chairman and this is that there there may be no one crypto twitter likes to complain about more than security and exchange commissioner chair is gary gensler but one new Algorand USD algo project is reportedly playing ball with the SEC to move ahead in the very field the SEC is now targeting fractional NFTs. All right, non fungible tokens. All right, they want to be the leader because whoever gets their foot in the door, it's like I keep telling you, like Bitcoin, um, you've got such a, a, a unique advantage being the first mover into a space. It gives you the ability and um, uh, the specificity where you're the only one being able to occupy the space. That means everything operates through you. Being the first one in, it's just like having a monopoly. So this is what Al Grant is doing, trying to get into this space where it's the first one. And if it can find a way to do that, work with the SEC, guess what's going to happen? Mm -hmm. What all these other YouTube channels keep trying to say, I will not try to give you hopium. I will not try to say that the thing will moon, but it's going to be in a very good position if you have a good portfolio in it. This will be a time where there's going to be um, a sizable sea change in the direction because this is going to speed up adoption. If this can actually go in the United States, that means the regulatory nature of the thing will have its first foothold. And then the other things that comes after that should, well, it's not going to happen quick, but it should be a pathway uh, in the United States for crypto to start making its way into the mainstream. So here we go. It's the fractional NFTs are nothing new. We understand that. But they've exploded in popularity since 2021 as NFTs become all the rage. And the most popular collections came with multi, with million dollar price tags. You can even buy a fractional, a fraction of the classic Doge meme through Plazar Dow, Pleasure, Pleasure Dow. The NFT Art Collective bought the Doge, Doge photo for $4 million last June. When it auctioned off its dog tokens, representing roughly 7 billion slices of the Doge NFT, Pleasure Doge made a cool $45 million. This is what fractionalized ownership can do. And this is what a lot of people are doing in real estate. They're doing it with the painting, music. You've heard of Oculus. They're fractionalizing a lot of things that are now going to be able to be uh, monetized. And it's going to be fractionalized to the point where retail investors may be able to realize some good gains 
uh, for some normal things that we would normally not been able to actually tap into. You think of it as uh, the GameStop Redditors versus uh, Wall Street. That's that's what we're creating here. This is what this is on a uh, on a global scale. Is what crypto is, and of course, people don't like it. People fear. It. So, this is what Algorand is doing: is trying to get into this space. And I'll read this last paragraph here, and it says, "We." Expect in 2022 will be a year when all different kinds of value will be tokenized on the blockchain, writes Luke Lango for his ultimate crypto service. In this new digital world, financial services will be brought into onto networks like Algorand, where we will where they can transact more quick, quickly with fewer middlemen and thus fewer fees. So with these forms of tokenization, the utility is definitely there. Real estate is the perfect example through Vesta Equity, the latest project on Algorand. People who own their house outright can access their equity without selling their home or taking on debt. Rather than going to the bank for a home equity loan, you could sell up to 80% of its value as an NFT. That's what this client is doing with their condo. They're selling it. So what you have to understand is this is changing the whole landscape of finances, the whole landscape of, of um, who actually has control of money. And if you ultimately have control of your own money, guess what that makes you? <laughs> it makes you more empowered to actually pay attention to your money. 